Hi everyone, in this wood-fired workshop we're going to be cooking these lovely little Gernard fillets tossed in Razal Anout. We're making a warm salsa and serving them with couscous. Stick around to see the whole video. You can see that I've got a nice fire burning in the oven, a nice hot oven already heated up a little bit so it's nice and stable and a good heat for frying and roasting. I'm going to get a pan in there, get it nice and hot to start with ready to cook our warm salsa. On the tray then we've got some fish and I'm using Gurnard so this lovely pink skinned light pink flesh uh, sweet fish but you can use pretty much anything cod, haddock. I've got a mix of spices here to make the Raz Al Hanout so I've got coriander, cumin, ginger, turmeric, paprika pepper, cinnamon, allspice, a little bit of clove and some nutmeg. Then uh, for my salsa, pepper, red onion, tomato, garlic and chilli and couscous which is already made up and ready to go and some coriander to dress the whole thing at the end. The pan should now be nice and hot. Into there with some olive oil first thing we're going to do is just soften a little onion and red pepper into the pan with a nice sizzle but not so hot that I give this colour. I just want to soften it down a little bit and I want this salsa to be only just cooked. So a few minutes for those. Whilst the peppers and onions are cooking I'm quickly going to show you what I've done to these tomatoes and I just want the flesh of the tomatoes so using the best fish filleting knife I've taken these nice big tomatoes and cut them into six pieces then taken out the seeds because I don't want this to be watery and I don't throw these away they're good in stock you can chuck them into uh, into a soup then I flatten these out and you can give them a really good squeeze down flip them over so that they're skin side down hold them down to the table and then you're just taking the skin off and the the knife is tipped downwards ever so slightly so that you slide through leave the skin and keep the flesh And now I just slice and chop these tomatoes. So I've really got pure tomato flesh. So the tomatoes are done. I'm going to finish the Raz Al Hanout. And there are really as many uh, recipes for Raz Al Hanout as there are uh, as there are spice blenders or cooks in North Africa so uh, I'm not saying this is the definitive recipe but this is the one we're going with. You can of course buy a Raz Al Hanout ready mixed so that's about half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then I just mix them all up and then I've made a lot here much more than I'm going to need today but you can put it into a jar keep it uh, in your spice cupboard. Give that a stir and cook for just a few more minutes making sure they're not catching and burning. I'm going to add in garlic, chopped garlic and chopped chilli, chilli to taste of course Now those have been cooking for 10 minutes or so. I can add the tomato and really just cook this for a couple of minutes just to warm the tomato through. That's all I want to do to keep it really nice and fresh. So I'm keeping a little fire going here to cook this. So I've pushed the fire back behind the heat deflector 
which means the fire and the food are nicely separated. That's the tomatoes cooking for a couple of minutes. The salsa almost complete, except we need a little pinch of salt. Lemon zest, really a salsa has to have a little bit of citrus for zing. And some freshly chopped coriander. And that is the salsa ready. And we'll just keep that warm until we need it. The salsa can sit there to keep warm. I'm going to put another pan, a kadai pan, into the back of the oven, the hottest part of the oven. I've got a little bit more wood on the fire, so I get a nice flame over the top because we're going to cook the fish and I want the fish to cook really nice and quickly. So I want a hot pan and a flame to grill it from above. <clears throat> Whilst the pan is heating up, I'm going to take the gurnard fillets Pop those in there. Olive oil and enough razalanut to coat the fish nicely. And then I just want to toss all of those together so that everything is nicely coated in oil and spice. So you can see those nicely coated all over, smelling fantastic already before we've even roasted them. I'm just going to take that one out of the way for a second. Bring this pan forward, now it's nice and hot. A generous amount of oil in there. Then I'm going to lay the fish in there, skin side down, with a nice sizzle. And they're going to cook from below in the pan and from above. So that is now pretty much of a no Mississippi pizza temperature oven or very close to it. The fish are going to take two or three minutes to cook and then they will retain lots and lots of moisture. Fish are sizzling away happily. I'm going to give them a 180 spin in a second just so they cook evenly on both sides because one side at the moment is closer to the fire obviously. But I'm not going to turn them over because we've got that nice grilling fire above as well as the heat from below. I can see they're puffed up nicely already and the beauty of these caddie pans is those handles just allow you to spin them around really simple and carry on cooking. Seconds now until those fish are finished cooking so thank you very much for watching this video. <clears throat> if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel we provide videos every week or so and if you have any questions about this or any aspect of wood-fired cooking, please put it in the comment below. We will respond to you and we'll provide notes uh, and the recipe on our blog and put a link to that below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. A little sizzle there. Those fish have a really beautiful colour on them. I'm going to try and lift them out without damaging them so I can just lay them out there straight from oven to table pretty much spoon in the salsa lovely colours fantastic aromas I'll find a little sprinkle of coriander if you like and a little sprinkle of lemon. So there we are, a wonderfully aromatic, colourful dish. Really very simple to cook, but great for sharing with friends and family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.